Hello friends and colleagues. Today I'd like to talk about some experiment we did trying to understand good nanoparticles in sulfur bearing hydrothermal or fluids. Uh, good nanoparticles or good colloid gold are the same thing. And colloid gold transport is not a new idea. It's been around 100 years. But only recently, because advance of uh, Macroanalytic technology and detection technology that more and more evidence shows that gold nanoparticles in all fluid, such as this paper, Gottman taught 2018 in geology, the, uh, they collect hydrothermal seafloor fluids and find gold nanoparticles in those uh, fluids. Also, a recent paper published by Petrola et al. 2020 in mineral deposit, they all found nicely gold nanoparticles coexist with the silica in orogenic gold ores. So the question is, can we see gold nanoparticles in hydrothermal fluid? Can we reproduce it in the lab? Uh, not many people have done that. Only one pioneering study, experimental study by Frondel in 1938. He used hydrogen peroxide and uh, potassium carbonate-based solution and the sea gold colloid stable up to 350 supported by colloid silica. And here we'd like to report our experimental results of gold clothes in sulfur bearing or fluids. Uh, first of all, we need to make gold colloid in the lab. We made two kinds of solution. One is a classical citrate-based solution and one or is the sulfur bearing solution, like the movie here, we use gold three solutions and added drops of uh, reduced sodium sulfide solution. In half an hour, you can see nicely the gold solution turn from gold three golden color, golden yellow to a deep red color, like a red wine. And if we take, <coughs> We make a different colloidal silica uh, put there and can adjust the pH. And we can see that gold nano particles are stable when pH is more than 3.7. You can see all those, uh, the four bottles on the right hand side are the all clear solutions. The bottom black marks up, um, uh, writing of a uh, pen is not a precipitate. And before we do high temperature experiment, we did a TEM measurement and you can see nicely from 5 to 20 nanometers gold nanoparticles in all kinds of shapes uh, in the solution. And uh, this gray nanoparticles are colloid silicones. We heat the solution, we bring the solution to Australian synchrotron X-ray absorption spectroscopy beam line and uh, using the uh, capillary setup there to measure uh, gold uh, speciation at high temperature up to 225. First of all, we use X-ray to scan through the sample cell, and you can see that uh, at up to 225, the very smooth profile, which means the gold nanoparticles or gold are in the solution. And if we now go to colloid, colloid silica, this solution will heat to high temperature, you got a really bumpy uh, profile, which means good precipitates. So for the <coughs> solution we did with this, when supported by colloid silica, we see nice uh, X-ray near edge spectroscopy, that's called Zen spectra. It's very, very similar to the gold metal in the solution, so which means that all gold, native gold nanoparticles is not uh, aqueous phase, like gold chloride, gold one chloride, or gold three chloride, that are very different from so what we measured. At higher temperature, because silica uh, capillary can hold high pressure and high temperature, we just do a very simple experiment in the laboratory oven with the fused silica tube, big tube, 
and put those nanoparticle solution and heat it up to 350, you can see that when supported by uh, colloidal silica, the <coughs> good nanoparticle in sodium sulfide solution are stable up to at least 300 C. When heat to 350, you can, you can see it start to precipitate to the bottom. And we, you, we, after the experiment opened it, measure the TEM again, we can see the 300C sample with support by colloidal silica is good still nicely as uh, nanoparticles. But at 350, both colloidal silica and uh, gold nanoparticles that all congregate, uh, aggregate together and precipitates. You can see nice also all the uh, ripening in, uh, in the silica, uh, colloidal silica particles here. Uh, 300 is already started for, but gold is still stay pre uh, stable in this at 300 C. So that's all experimental solution is around 100 ppm gold in, in the experimental solutions. If we use this similar composition and we calculate gold solubility, the aqueous complex is about four orders of magnitude lower, which means gold nanoparticle can be like from, can transfer a lot out more gold in the aqueous species. How to form Chloride the gold in sulfide bearing ore fluid. We know at extreme high temperature, gold bisulfide complex predominates. So we need to remove bisulfide from the complex and reduce gold one to gold zero. So boiling, a previous study already pointed out boiling is the most effective way to concentrate gold as gold nanoparticles. And also, if we form sulfide to remove uh, metal sulfide like uh, pyrite and other metal sulfide that they also remove and uh, reduce sulfur from the solution and it stabilize gold as <coughs> uh, gold one and it will form gold nanoparticles. So we need some capping capping agent like citrate sulfide covenant and all sorts of uh, function groups that could stabilize gold will be an uh, area to study in the future. In your know, current study is uh, supported by the colloidal silica. So how how to destabilize gold nanoparticle to form gold ores? Our study shows that colloidal silica is the key thing to support gold in the high temperature solution. So precipitate of silica is uh, the single most important trigger to form uh, destabilize gold nanoparticles, and we can also add in source a decreased temperature pressure and the pH and also ligand exchange. The key thing is to destroy the electrical double layer around the gold nut particles so that gold is not no longer suspended in the solution. And translate to geological process will be boiling for the mixing, cooling, uh, decompressing and the what rock interactions but that's all need future uh, more detailed studies. So very two simple conclusions from our experiments is the high concentration of colloid gold are stable in sulfur bearing fluids at elevated temperatures up to 300 C. And uh, this implies that formation of gold colloids is an effective way to concentrate gold in hydrothermal sulfur bearing fluids uh, to form high grade gold ores. So uh, this study uh, has been just published in the uh, geology reviews recently, and then you're welcome to have a look. Thank you for watching my presentation, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, you can leave your comments at the conference website or email me uh, using the email shown on the screen. Thank you.